All right. Well, hello, everyone. I'm Madison Mayberry Hoffmeyer, and I am sitting down with Kara Gormong today. We are going to talk just a little bit about um, Beauty Counter, about what brought Kara to Beauty Counter, what brought me to Beauty Counter. And then Kara has an interesting perspective as a mama four, almost a mama five, and she homeschools. She'll tell you more about herself, but basically Beauty Counter fits into like a very busy schedule that she has. Um, she's not sitting around with tons of excess time, and I know most of us probably feel the same way of, hey, I hardly have have an extra moment like how could I fit something else on my plate and so Kara's going to share how she does that she's super savvy with her time she's very strategic she has a great business and she's done really well working it into pockets of time rather than sitting down with endless amounts of time to work her business so um like I said my name is Madison um I have been with Beauty Counter for seven years now um coming up this fall which feels like a lifetime um it has been a really wonderful journey I have four little kids who are seven five, I'm trying to remember three and four months. Um, and so we're really busy, but we um, enjoy the way that Beauty Counter has worked into my life as a mom who stays at home and works. Um, and I'm able to kind of be the default parent for all the needs that four little kids have. Um, so it's a huge blessing for me. And one of the biggest blessings is getting to work with team members like Kara um, and, you know, potentially people who decide to say yes to this and join our team. It's really um, I think a positive community and a community of women who have been united around uh, many of the similar core values and beliefs, especially our passion for clean beauty and getting safer products into the hands of everyone. Um, so I'll kick it over to Kara and let her share just a little bit about her before we dive into some questions that I have for her about how she works the business. Yeah, thanks, Madison. I'm Kara, and I have four kids with one on the way. Like Madison said, uh, my kids range from 12 to one being born this month. So um, I homeschool full time. That's kind of homeschooling beauty counter kind of fits in the nooks and crannies of where I have open space. And um, I've been beauty with beauty counter for almost four years, which is crazy. Um, but it's been such a huge blessing, not just financially, but the community and even just bringing awareness to my own self that I can then pass on to my teenage girls um, and family members the things that I just didn't know before that I feel like Beauty Counter really did a great job of um, letting me in on it and bringing me awareness of what is really going on out there in the beauty world. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, I love that you mentioned your girls because I have you know, the same kind of family ordering that you do older girls and then boys. Um, and as my girls, I mean, they're still relatively young, but they're starting to be interested in what they put, you know, oh, they grab mom's lip gloss or they grab something. Um, and it's, it's really interesting to be able to share with them why we do what we do. Um, yep. and then why it matters what they put on their body and, um, start educating them at a young age. So I love that you mentioned that, especially as your girls are getting into the you know place where they're probably applying more to their face yeah. and washing their face and all that sort of stuff. So now tell me, okay, you homeschool, you have, you know, your husband has a busy job. I know he's traveling sometimes for work. Like you don't have a ton of extra time. And I think when I hear people say, oh, I would love to do something like that, but I don't have the time. And so share with me kind of how Beauty Counter fits into your family's rhythms and routines and how you make time for it. Yeah, um, I think some of it is personality. I am, I'm more of a achiever driven person. So when I get things done, like I don't like to just sit on the couch and just do nothing, right? So I'm like, oh, if I'm gonna sit on the couch after the kids go to bed, I'm gonna utilize my time well. I'm going to send some emails, reach out to people, host a pop-up. Um, and I know everyone doesn't work like that, but I think that people, you can train yourself to kind of use those pockets of space in good and smart ways. Even if it's like setting up an email that's pre-written um, so you can send a bunch of emails really quickly, you know, while you're sitting there on the couch. So it's not taking up your whole time, you still have time to, you know, veg out and watch TV, but you can be smart about how you're working, you know, like not working harder, but working smarter. So I would, nap times were always a time that I would sit down and um, strategically do beauty counter or after my kids go to bed, my kids go to bed, you know, they're early bed goers, I guess, um, you know, by 839. And then I have a pocket of time to do stuff. Yeah. Um, so I'm not a person that probably would take a chunk out of time on a Saturday morning to go do something by myself, but I mean, totally people do that and it works. If you get up early before your kids get up, you know, use that time um, to 
do things. And what I like about Beauty Counter is that you can do pockets of things, you know, small little tasks um, throughout your day. And it doesn't have to all be, I have to do this all right. You know, I need three hours to do all of this thing, all these things, you know, you can kind of divide it out. Yeah. And as somebody who I'm that early morning person. So for many, many years in my business, like I was getting up early and I could get more done in that first hour in the morning than I could, you know, ask me to work at night. And it's just, (laughs) <laughs> I'm, I am very unproductive at that point, but you know, it, like you said, it works for wherever little pockets that you can contribute. And I know some team members who, you know, based on their goals, they might work an hour a week, but they're very focused with that one hour that they have. They get up, they maybe do an hour's worth of work, or like you said, they get away to a coffee shop, you know, a couple Saturdays a month and they just, you know, pound out some work and then they're off and they can check that off. And there's so many great systems now that we have in place too, where Gmail has great systems and, yeah. you know, so much automation that you can really batch work if you want to. Or like you said, I just do a little bit every single day or most days of the week. I just do a little bit, just like I do laundry or chores or whatever right, it is. Right. Um, so fitting that into small pockets of time, I think more than anything, it's just being really focused and, and intentional about what you do with your time. And it shouldn't, I always tell people, it shouldn't take a lot of your time. Right. Like I do this full time and I'm still not working, you know, a 40 hour week by right. any means. And so based on your goals, um, that's what our team really is here for. And I think you would probably echo this, that there's abundant support resources, things like that to make it so that you don't feel like you're always doing it alone. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I think that, um, oh, I just lost my train of thought of what I was going to say. Mom brain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it's a job, right? Like you can't, I feel like beauty counter, some people think, oh, you don't have to do anything and you still do great at your business. No, it's a, it's an actual job, you know? So when we do choose to work intentionally, like we actually work, you know, and um, you're, you're putting what you put into it is what you get out of it, you know? So being absolutely. And that. so like, Take, for example, I just had a baby. You're getting ready to have a baby. I think one of the beauties that I really appreciate is that it is flexible, unlike something where you have to show up X amount of hours a week. Like you said, you get in what you put out, but there is a season where you can maybe ebb and flow a little bit. So you can step back for a little bit and you can kind of ramp it back up. So, I mean, tell me about that as you've seen different seasons come and go for your family and are anticipating a newborn season again, like what, how you think about that. Yeah. I mean, it is kind of, like you said, you kind of, you know, you maybe put a little extra effort into one month because you know, the next month's going to be really busy with sports or school or, you know, things starting up. So you put things in place that can set you up for success. Right. And so even thinking about having a newborn, it's like, oh, one thing great about beauty counter is you can do so much from your phone or your computer. (laughs) And so the hours of nursing that you're sitting there, you're like, okay, I can utilize some of this time, you know, maybe sending packages aren't as ideal running to the post office or something, but you put things in place like, oh, I can ship things from home. Let's figure that out and put that in place before I'm tied at home with a newborn, you know, stuff like that. So I think it's kind of keeping your mindset like a forward going to as you're you know, present as well, but kind of like, okay, what do I have coming up on my plate and what can I do within beauty counter to prepare myself, you know, to intentionally prepare myself. So it's, I can take a step back if I need to, you know, without feeling like you're losing, you know, resources or money or whatever. Yeah, Yeah. absolutely. Well, one of the things um, that I think is super generous from beauty counter, one of the big hallmarks of it is that beauty counter has a really competitive compensation plan. And everybody always thinks you have to grow a massive team in order to make any money doing one of those businesses. And so kind of dispelling that, um, can you share a little bit just about the income side of things and about how really personal sales are, how people get rewarded, you know, first and foremost in the business? Yeah. I mean, personal sales are, I feel like it is important because you are seeing the fruit of your own personal work. You know, you're not relying on other people because you can all, you can only talk and coach people so much, but you can't make them do something, but you can motivate yourself and you can be responsible for what you can do. And so that's what I do love about beauty counter that you have, you know, like personal volume or personal sales that you get paid most on, you know? And I think that, um, I love that beauty counter kind of does a percentage as you go, because, it kind of gives you, if you're a goal setting person, you're like, okay, let me get to this goal in 
sales. And then let me get to this goal and then this goal. And as you get to these three different levels, your percentage of pay goes up. And so it's kind of a, this motivating thing, you know, you can get to this tier and like, okay, I did it. And it's only the 10th of the month. Now let me get to this point, you know? And so back in my mind, I always have a, a, what level that I want to get at. And so you try really hard to get there. And so I think that the compensation plan of like the percentage added percentage up, it helps motivate me. And I feel like the income has definitely blown me out of the water as far as just things that you can pay extra for, you know, it doesn't mean that you're like, Oh, I have to pay my entire mortgage with it. It's like, Hey, what if we want to go to target and I want to treat the kids to a Starbucks drink. I don't have to be like, Oh, is that in my budget? Cause I'm like, Oh, I made extra with beauty counter. You know, even if it's like a hundred dollars a month, that's a hundred more than you had the month before. Right. Um, but it can be a blessing. Like for us, we send our kids to a homeschool co-op the last two years. And that's been funded by some of my beauty counter money, which has been a huge blessing because it's one of those things that you're like, I don't know if I could have afforded before, but now it's something that I know that I'm helping provide for my family. Yeah, absolutely. And what Kara was referencing is that at 25% base commission for all all sales that you make, so you sell a dollar, you get 25 cents, right? Um, So a base of 25, and then it goes all the way up to 35 based on your sales month to month. So you know you're going to win at 25%, and then you have an option. The more you sell, the more higher percentage commission you get. So you can see how that really starts to add up. I mean, I thought the other day, one of the small luxuries is that we have somebody come in and they clean our house now. And when I had a fourth baby, I said, like, we're going to commit to having someone come in because I just can't stay on top of all the things. And I'm either trading cleaning or time with my kids. And so, you know, we said, okay, I want to invest in that so that I can do this. And those little things that you take for granted that said like, no, beauty counters afforded a little more wiggle room in the budget so that we can do those things. And I can then be more present here too. So um, yeah. So any other kind of closing words, I want to keep this short and sweet. I know people's time is, is precious, but any closing words for people who are maybe thinking about the consultant side of things, but they're sitting on the fence, maybe they're hesitant and unsure about it. And it just keeps like talking in the back of their head. Yeah. I guess my only thing would be go for it. What, what, what's holding you back is probably your own insecurity of like, am I going to do well? Well, you could try it. And if it doesn't go well, it doesn't go well, but what if it goes great? You have great Madison's a great coach. Um, We have a great team members. We have so many resources. Um, No one's, you're not going to just be left in the dark to just, you know, find your way through, you know, there's so many things that can make the business, even if it's maybe not financially, maybe you want to need a community, you know, and here it is. So I would say stop overthinking things and just do it because this is like the best time um, to join beauty counter and, um, this kind of thing, because who doesn't want to like make your own schedule, make a little extra, you know? So that's what I would say. Absolutely. I like to say that we are supportive. We have all the support you want plug in as much as you want. You're definitely not going to get plugged Mm -hmm. into this thing where people are going to make you feel like, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Um, no guilt, no expectation, but we're definitely here for you guys in whatever way that you want to plug in and it's abundant support and resources. So like Kara said, um, I think you can see how someone even as busy as Kara getting ready to welcome baby number five into the family can make time for beauty counter. I'm guessing that you can too. So if it's one of those things that keeps chirping at you in the background, we'd love to have you reach out to whoever invited you to this page um, or to this call and reach out to them and ask them a little bit more about what it might look like to join our team. But thanks for chatting with me for a little bit, Kara. I appreciate you. Yeah, thanks. You too.